Francisco Balagtas is one of the important people in our history. He was one of the influential writers that brought Filipino culture to flourish. Francisco was considered to be similar with one of the English famous writer, William Shakespeare, for his great contribution in writing that caused an impact in Filipino literature. Also, his name was derived from a Filipino literary form of debate, Balagtasan. It was named after him to honor his contributions in Filipino literature, also to commemorate his birthday. Francisco Baltazar was born in April 2, 1788 in Paginay, Biga, Abulacan. He was the son of Juan Baltazar and Juana de la Cruz, and he was the youngest of four siblings. As a young child, he showed his interest in writing poetry and later became his great talent. He studied in parochial school in Bigaa, where he studied in his elementary days. When he was 11, he was moved to Tondo, Manila to work as a houseboy in his aunt, who supported his studies in his college life. He studied in Colegio San Jose and Colegio de San Juan de Letran. He graduated with degrees in Spanish, Latin, Crown Law, Physics, Christian Doctrine, Humanities, and Philosophy. In 1835, he moved to Pandacan and met Maria Asuncion Rivera that became his miss in his writings later on. Balagtas is infatuated to Maria, and both of them are close to each other. But until he was challenged by another suitor, Mariano Capule. Capule made an agreement with him that whoever won the battle would marry Maria. Unfortunately, he was imprisoned by Capule, who gambled and used money to marry Maria. While in prison, he began to focus on in poetry and created Florente Nara with parallels on his experiences. After he was released from prison, Polagtas published his Florante at Laura in 1388. His poem became famous because its story is a metrical romance that takes place in a friendless world. Although the characters are foreigners, the theme of this poem promotes diversity, equality, and harmony. Also, the main reason of popularity is that the poem is a legacy of how Spanish colonizers treat Filipinos back in the past. This caused an impact on the Filipinos to revolt for freedom, and that is how Florente Laura became one of the legacies in Filipino literature. In 1840, he moved in on Jong Bataan and served as a major lieutenant, and that is the time when he met Juana Chambe in Orion Bataan, who later on became his bride and wife in 1832. He had 11 children, 5 boys, and 6 girls, although 7 of them died. In 1849, Governor General Cecil Claveria ordered that every Filipino native adopt a Spanish surname. Henceforth, Balectas became known as Francisco Baltasar. In 1856, Balectas faced imprisonment again for shaving the head of Alferes Lucas House Cleaner, forcing his wife to spend her entire fortune to be the court expenses. After his release in 1860, he continued writing to support his country. Upon his deathbed, Balthazar asked that none of his children become poets like him, who had suffered under his gift. He stated that it would be better to cut their heads off than let them to be writers. Those are his last words. And that is how Francisco Balthazar died in February 20, 1862.